Steve from Exodus, and I'm at NIOS today with Christian, Hi, one Steve. of the owners. Hi, Christian. Thank you for having us. So we wanted to talk a little bit about the Ion B range. We've had this in the UK for a little while, but most importantly, you've been using it in the White Corals Farm for quite a long time under wraps and testing it, making sure that it does exactly what you need it to do mm -hmm. for us to be able to get the results that you get in the farm. Yes, Steve, uh, we've been using the Iron Bee for quite a while now in the farm and what we found is that we got a lot more stability in the systems. So one of the big advantages is that you dose the exact same amount of alkalinity and calcium. However, that being said, you see that um, if the dosing of the alkalinity solution and the calcium solution is the same, then your tank is in balance. And um, before we just used the regular balling source and it was sometimes very difficult if you, for example, dose 150 ml of alkalinity and 800 ml of calcium, if that is in balance or not. Yeah, okay. So does this play a part in the trace elements that are in here as well? Because not only is there some trace elements in here, but we've got trace elements in here as well. Yeah, so with the trace elements, we've put them into separate bottles because for calcium and alkalinity, it is quite easy to, um, uh, to make a balanced mixture. But uh, the trace element consumption of each tank is quite different. Yep. That's what we found in our testing. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's the reason why we have the trace elements separately. And uh, we recommend to start with 10 ml of trace element when you start. Per, per liter. Per of liter. Ion B. B yeah. yeah. So maybe first I explain how it works in general. Yeah, it's Sorry, super simple. I'm, I'm, ju <laughs> I'm jumping around here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's super simple. So you have. Um, two trace elements for the calcium solution and uh, you just add 10 ml of each per liter to your calcium dosing and then we have one trace element for the alkalinity solution and the same thing you add 10 ml per liter of the alkalinity solution in there and that's it okay so so i'm ta i'm taking this home i'm going to run it on my on my system so i've got 2000 ml there 2 liters mm -hmm. So I want 20 mil of that one in there, 20 mil of that one in there, same in there, but just the one bottle mm -hmm. in there of 20 mil. Yeah. Run that for a month, then send my yeah. ICP off. Yeah, that's what we recommend. Okay, send my ICP off. If So if I am coming up short on, let's say I'm coming up short on iodine, mm -hmm. what would I adjust to be able to bring those levels back in? Yeah, so we have the um, explanation on the bottles which trace elements are in there, so yep. you know um, uh, which you need to increase. And then you um, just add another 5 ml of yep. this trace element uh, to your um, dosing container, and then you wait for another month and check. And then it test again. What, so once we reach that point of we know exactly what consumption we've got, you have then got two bottles that are perfectly mm -hmm. matched to your system and is going to give you everything that you need. Yes, as we have the corals grow out more, we are going to have to keep up in the trace elements a little bit, yeah. but you get, you're getting everything there, which to my knowledge, I don't believe that there is another company out there that can give you a two-part dosing solution that covers absolutely everything. So on these, Christian, we have two bottles. Mm -hmm. We have the Ion B part one and part two, but then when it comes to the elements, the trace elements, we have three bottles. So can you please explain for us why we have to do two separate bottles into one and one bottle into the other rather than just having two bottles? Yeah, uh, there's a very simple reason for that. Um, because of the high concentration of the trace elements, they are um, solved in different solution. Um, so when you put them in there, they're diluted, so it's yep. not an issue. Um, if you would put both trace elements for the calcium solution into one bottle, they will participate. Okay. That's the simple so, reason. And, and the, I know there is some chemicals that will not work if, you, if they're in the same yeah. bottle as another yeah. chemical, yeah. the bind. So you also need a different pH, so these um, bottles have a different pH. Yeah, but once we mix them into here, mm -hmm. they're completely fine because, as you yeah. say, they're diluted. So, Christian, let's take a hypothetical example. I've got my... Ion B, I've got my elements, I've taken them home, filled them all up, 
I've got a 300 litre aquarium, mm -hmm. let's say. Mixed reef, so SPS, LPS, some softies. How long would you say a two litre set would last? Um, if you have a 300 litre tank, a regular tank, we recommend a dosing of um, around 5 to 10 ml. That's what most of the tanks need. Yep. And that means with your 300 litre tank, you need, let's say, 7.5 um, per 100 litre, times three is around roughly 20 milliliters per day. We have 2,000 ml in there, so it lasts you 100 days. 100 days, so over three months for mm -hmm. two liters. Yeah, I mean, That's of course- really you, cost effective. Yeah, um, yeah the, the solutions are very highly concentrated. That's the reason why they last long. But of course, it depends on your coral load. So if yes. you're heavy stocked SPS, you will need more. If you have just very few um, SPS or LPS, then uh, it will last longer. Yeah, uh, and there's also five liter options in this mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, that's really, really good. So we were here a year ago talking about IONB and launching IONB. The difference that I've seen in the farm in that year, now I know that you've been using this, has really spoken to me about how simple this is to get the results. I think this should be on everybody's aquarium. It's simple, it works, it gives you everything that you need. It really is that simplicity in a bottle. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.